Good morning. First off, well, I'm going to show the uh, Impressionist Tarot. It's a low scarabio. Apparently, um, it's the little white books written by Corinne Kinner. And the artwork, which is, you know, famous artwork, was redone by Arturo. Yeah. Boy, that's hard to say. Pierre. I won't even try. I'll just let it zoom in on it, maybe. There we go. Now, zoom out, because that gets weird after a while. Oops. And I apologize ahead of time if it's, uh, I sound exhausted and whatever, because I didn't sleep very well last night. Because yesterday, all these boxes arrived from Amazon, so I was up playing with each and every card and each and every deck I just couldn't stop I even read like half of that book by Rachel Pollock the 78 degrees of whatever so I think I slept maybe an hour <laughs> which is kind of silly it's it's cards but it's art too so anyway I'm gonna take a little bit longer with this one and what you see in the background here is a Something I bought off a street person, vendor, I guess, um, that was selling it in New York. I'd gone to some gallery to stare at some things, and when it came out, this caught my eye, and the way they looked at me caught my eye. They had a sparkle and a, some accent. I mean, they probably spoke English, but just wasn't going to. So I got this. It wasn't very much. It's not very well framed, but, you know, it captures what his painting. I've never seen it in person, but I think it captures what it looks like most of the time when you see it. But like I say, I've never seen it in person. On the back of the box, if I can hold this in a steady enough way, the beginning is perhaps more difficult than anything else, but keep heart. It will turn out all right. Vincent Van Gogh. And I apologize for saying the American English, mostly American probably, Van Gogh instead of whatever it should be, which sounds like it involves a loogie, Van Hoek, or something like that. If anyone knows how to pronounce it, please feel free to make a video. I'm sure they're out there already. But I'll go on and read the rest of this because it involves other artists as well. I just can't pick out in the cards who is who. Although I tried last night. A powerful tarot deck inspired by the most famous Impressionist and post-Impressionist painters in this deck. Edouard Manet, or Manet, Claude Monet, I know that's Monet, I'm not sure about the first dude. Pierre-Auguste Renoir, people just say Renoir. Edgar Degas, people just say Degas. Vincent Van Gogh, and he just wanted to say Vincent. So, since I think it kind of pissed him off that, sorry, that people can't pronounce his last name. <laughs> and Paul Gauguin, of course. They weren't afraid to break boundaries of conventional thought and cultural norms to create new and everlasting art. Well, that's nice to say. And there's one of those you know, maybe the world's greatest tuck boxes. Look at that. You don't got the double flap action. They're just, ah. Uh, 78 Arcana with instructions. I don't know. I don't know. Have I seen that before? Hmm. Well, that's the box. And that's the box. Let's get to that little white book. And this time, I can confirm that I read, you know, the English pages anyway. And if you, when you flip through this, if you flip one more page, if you're English, flip one more page past that, and you'll see a bigger version of this picture here. And what do we have on the back? We have some more stuff about the artist and the writer. Arturo Pica, P-I-C-C-A. Now I can see it. Black and white. You can't beat that. And on the first page, I kind of highlighted something badly with a, 
with a crayon, I think. <laughs> I have colors all over the place. Crayons, colored pencils, whatever. The let me read it. The easiest way to read a tarot card is to study it like a painting in a museum and then describe it aloud. Which of course won't be cool if you do that at most museums. Because it's a lot of them I've been into they work kinda like a library, you know. Whoosh, 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 a lot of whispering. But um I would go one past that and that kinda is to say, yeah, you gotta look at each card like you do a painting. But in the case of cards, um, you're really trying to put more than one together. I'm not sure I fully agree with the pull one card, stare at it. I mean, I get that if you're doing it just to, you know, to get to know the card and look at it and spend more time with it, I get that. But the whole idea, I think, is to, as someone would say, to have a story there and that involves and it has to involve more than one card. Is there a whole story in one card? I don't know. I don't think so. That's just me, though, in my past. If we go through here, and it, what would be nice is if for each one of these, and of course they're not going to do that, we told you who he's recreating from these draw, these drawings or art. You know, who was the original artist? We can see for the wands, it's kind of telling us that this is Edouard Manet, or Manet. I'm going to guess Manet, but I, I don't know. I don't know much about him. So he's a little guy in the hat. I don't know. This the wands, anyway. It's him. The cups is Claude Monet, who I do know. The guy with the flowers. And I'm going to go sit outside and paint stuff. Uh, what a sweeping change of ideas <laughs> that way. But it was, I guess. Uh, swords, of course. Van Vincent Van Gogh. Again, apologies for mispronouncing his name. Netherlands Dutch guy. Who spent a lot of time in France. Because I guess that's where the art and his brother, the collector, curator, dealer, spent time. And the Pinnacles is Edgar de Degas, or Degas, probably Degas. But if you keep flipping, you know, you get past the Pinnacles, and there's about the artist and about the author, and you'd probably do this. Well, don't do that. Flip one more page, and there you get the big version of what's on the front. And no color, but still. And the rest of the book is, you know, the other languages. <laughs> say that not as a put down but just that's what it is it's the other languages and I thought Van Gogh would like a nice colorful candle which I keep using and that's that's cool because I like it but this is you know starry night or whatever he would have called it and it's not a great version and if you can blur your vision or I can blur it for you here goes I can't blur it for you. I'm sorry. Anyway, what I see at night, because this hangs near where I sleep, so, you know, you peek open an eye, and this is, if I'm facing that way, this is one of the things that I see. This and the girl in the, with the pearl earring, but she's further off. But when I see this at night, you know, of course I'm going to see these bright spots, the stars. And I guess this is the moon, because it has a crescent shape. But what I see is the head of something. And then this long arm going out this way. And it's either putting this star here, or it's taking it back. I've seen that so many times. Now this at night is a blur, because it's dark. And this thing that's supposedly reaching up to heaven kind of outdoing civilization down here at least I think that's how some of the analysis goes whatever this is some sort of tree no, it's not a cypress I don't know what it is but that's what I see instead I can blur my vision now and see it but that's only because I've seen it already so I'll pick this up 
the best part about this is it's in heavy wood. It's oddly framed. It's not your normal stretch over and then paint it because it's not painted. It's a print of some kind, but it's on canvas. So that was nice, a nice pickup from a nice person living on the street as a vendor. So here are the cards, or in this case, three rows of seven, the trumps. Mm. I'm going to need like eight things of coffee today because I want to do several of these videos because I'm all hyped up on them. Kind of a starry night right here on this card. Tower. Mm. Moon, sun. There's the, uh, there's the one that's in the book. So, very nice. I'm never holding stuff quite level. Should be a box right in the middle of that screen, like something to aim at, you know. Kind of like a heads up display fighter pilot kind of thing for cards. <laughs> I know, not enough sleep. I'll try to keep the words to a minimum. But hey, what can you do? Is that is that him? Is that Manet? Or is that that's not Monet? Monet would have been a bearded dude. That's that's Van Gogh, I think. These would be Gauguin, I believe. I don't know. I'm not the art appreciator I should be, even though having several college level classes but that's just memorization. There's what the back of the cards look like. I'll take that out of the way. It looks like the back of a picture, old picture, you know, frame. Not really a frame, the back of a canvas. No, no, it's the back of a frame. The inside's the canvas. The outside's the frame, which is what these cards are echoing, kind of. But that's the fool card, which, if I had to guess, Due to the sunflowers and the field and the strange hat that that's Vincent. I'll say Vincent and avoid the whole last name issue. And there it is compared to I'm a standard U.S. Games tarot card. It's, it's the exact same height and off. I think that's true for a lot of the low Scarabio cards. They're off a little bit that way and here are the extra cards impressionist tarot low scarabio same old back and of course the ever-present fool card for terosophy uh, someday i'll be able to say that when i grow up <clears throat> but for now i can't say it if you can say it please make a video and i'll listen to it on loop so I get it down, that's probably another uh, Gauguin. I just, I could go on probably for hours pointing and liking and disliking and... Mm. So I won't, <laughs> since we're already too long as it is. But that's okay, this is worth it. This is art, man. Let's bring this in, this is the cups I believe let's look at the book and see who the cups were again cups that's the wands not cups come on who were the cups Claude Monet I should have guessed well, you know I can't really guess it from looking at this where's some more flowers come on people and I think typically the king in these suits is the original artist, I think. I could be wrong. I'll put them right up there. What do you think? Was that Claude Monet? Well, you did good, dude. Kind of looked like Santa Claus there, though. I'm trying to see something that would tell me it's him, but maybe, maybe. Not sure. Moving on to the next one. Hey, these are pretty good. They're not sticking to the boards, which usually happens. Is that level straight? And these 
this is the oh my god what is this well it's not wands it's not swords it kind of looks like stars so i'm going to guess that means pinnacles so this is edgar Degas or de gas <laughs> if you're really bad at pronouncing things and it's kind of hard to see what the thing is so i used this uh Chinese brush, which I really love, by the way. I don't like the fact that it says this is wolf and badger or something like that. I don't like that. But I see, like, you know, ribbon, 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 ribbon. How is that a pinnacle? Ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. Hmm. But they're nice. I mean, I'm trying to pick one. Oh, I love that one. And yes, I would love it even if she had a shirt on. But look at that. I mean, I don't know what words to use for that. And if I do this, let's do this. If I do this, it's still just as, I don't like to use the word power or powerful, but it's still just as striking. <laughs> I'm, I have a glare. Sorry, it's hard to do. This camera is pretty good at close-ups, but I'm not a stable platform. Hey, I'm not a platform at all. So that's, I didn't hold him up. My theory that the king is the artist of the original art. Is that the guy? Are you the guy? Well, those are nice shoes, dude. And he's holding some ribbons. Okay, next, because that's too long. Next we have the wands. I already know that one. So let's go back and see who the wands are. I'm thinking it's Edward Manet, Manet, I think. Probably pronouncing it wrong. And I recognize parts of this one, of course. Um, something about that and that, but that's it. And then going with my theory that that's him, I'll hold him up there. Cool dude. Okay, last but definitely not least, at least not in the popular mind, if there is such a thing as a popular mind. We have Vincent. And I'll just go ahead and I know what this one is, but it's done different. I believe he painted a lady who ran a cafe that let him, you know, be obnoxious creep in her cafe. He painted her. But it's a little off somehow. There would have been a table here. I don't know. Something's different about it. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's another painting that just is looking like that and there he is with the little starry night in the background how about that and it says swords but these look like sickles or you know something you might cut wheat with if you weren't in a hurry and didn't mind bending over a lot so there's that one We'll stare at this. Of course, they get some of the yellows in. That's not as bright as he would have probably wanted. Not sure you would be cool with a sun. Sorry, with a sunflower having knives in it. And this one, if you look at the original painting, he made a point of making the greens and reds just like almost obnoxious to look at. But yet it's. There's, you know, a yellow and brown, the floor and the green. There was some place he went to and people played, I don't know what they call it, billiard, billiards, pool like thing. But that would have been much brighter, but that's fine. This is one of his older ones, I believe, where he did the boats with the crosses like that. If you look careful in this card, it's kind of hard to find these little swords and knives but they're there I won't say where 
you can find them. And that was my way too long look at, but I think it's worth it, the Impressionist Tarot. And we'll blow out the candle here in honor of, of Vincent and the others. Degas, Manet, or Manet, and Monet. And I love this. I I want to find more that's, you know, like a recreation of art from the past. It can be art from now. I mean, I, don't, I do have the other newer decks. So this is, I don't know if I said this before, this is 2017. And this is the year where I decided after noticing the year before that there's all these tarot decks that aren't Smith weight. I'm like, hmm, how'd that happen? When did that happen? How did I miss it? But I did. And so I said this year I can order whatever I want within reason. I'm not going to order some, you know, overpriced thing just because it's out of print because I don't want to be a collector. But I'm in danger of becoming a collector, but I'm not going to. I, I like the tarot and I love the Smith Waite tarot and and how I do it. But um, so probably at after 2017 and after I've had you know some time with all of these, I'll probably start giving a bunch away, not as some you know promotional thing and definitely not with free shipping, but you know just. Whoever wants whatever, I'll probably give it to them. But I probably would not give this one away. <laughs> and I wouldn't give away Aurora. So you can see a theme here. Other than Smith Way and some of the others, um, I've kind of fallen for them. So I really enjoyed this so far. I don't enjoy that I didn't sleep because of it, but that's okay retired you know i got all the time in the world <laughs> so with that i want to say peace and apologies for it being too long peace